Well, Asia is the place where much of the growth of the population and hence consumption of uh, animal proteins is going to happen, right? So if there's any place in the world to have discussions on how to innovate, how to improve and what to tackle, it's exactly here and now. So this is the place to be. Well, if, if on the aquaculture side, for instance, I think it's extremely important that we do more of a controlled environment. Water quality is really poor in Asia. It's going to be very difficult to fix that, but there's an opportunity to bring a lot of that production land-based. And I think to invest in that and to, to have a more sustainable approach where you produce salmon, for instance, or other species, shrimp, close to where people live, where the consumers are, you can really do things. And this is uh, some of the initiatives are happening there. And on the other hand, we need innovation with alternative proteins that have functional benefits or are cheaper or more sustainable to produce. And again, that's where you see a lot of the things happening in this conference. So it's uh, quite exciting, but I think that's where we need to focus. Uh, keeping the animals healthy, fighting disease, preventing disease, and having technology and farming available to really produce enough fish, uh, for instance, uh, that's where we can really make a big, big, big jump. Money is always an obstacle, right? There's a huge amount needed to really invest. I think some of the obstacles are more related to the way of the infrastructure in Asia. There's a lot of small backyard farming where biohazard is bigger, the, the likelihood of spreading diseases is bigger. So I think that's the sort of thing we need to work on more, on the farming practices here. But other than that, I th and, and obviously the need for uh, more food is, is bigger in Asia than anywhere else because this growing population. So I think the, the problems are uh, more pronounced in Asia, but they're sort of the same as uh, in the rest of the world, I would say. Uh, we're working with a lot of startups, either on the more digitalization and creating platforms, but also on alternative proteins. I used to have my own startup and brought it to, to the stock market. And the one thing I really didn't like is having an investor that tells you exactly what to do. What we do at Nutreco is we try to create an environment where the startups feel welcome, but we don't tell them what to do. We help them to maximize value, not necessarily just for us, but in general for the, for the company. And we take a, a smaller priority. We don't become the major investor and we help and we bring products to market. So we have a channel for, for startups to get to their product to market faster. There's going to be tremendous growth, right? The population is growing. We will be uh, close to 10 billion people and consume more. I expect that sustainability is going to be more important. Sustainability in not draining the planet. So we will have to produce more with less uh, in that sense and feed more people. Food, and and that's, that's really going to be important. And I believe innovation is going to take us really beyond what we've seen so far. So I believe this is an exciting place to be, lots of growth, lots of opportunity and very relevant for, for the people on this planet and for the region in Asia. Mm -hmm.